We back! K-pop! Our lock! Cool! Us! BTS 11th anniversary spectacular! We came back to you. For this, the third and final of the epic songs included on the NASA playlist in celebration of the grand, grand anniversary beats the Bangtan 7, as some call them. I just call them guys. What's up, guys? You got oh. some new music out. <laughs> we call them guys. Well, they are. Look at that. Yeah, this looks cool. Look at how big his head is there. He's wearing uh, some sort of gang apparel. Oh, you guys can't see it. I turned it off. It's going to be good, though. We've covered RM, Moonchild. Very uh, nice, down-to-earth, cool hip-hop beats. Then we just covered Pluto. If you want to hear a lengthy diatribe on why I don't like the reclassification of Pluto, then that's one to check out. Uh, also, good live performance. And now we are closing it out with Microcosmos in Seoul. Something about micro Microcosmos makes me want to do my Christoph Waltz. We are here watching BTS on one of the finest live performances you've ever seen. For the song Microcosmos. I do like it when you do that. The band that, is together. That voice. The high energy is there. And we're just going to dive into it. That's right. Well, Mr. Bond, I am your Waterloo. Every mistake you've made in life, I was there. Christoph Waltz. Awesome, awesome. Did you know he's Belgian? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't either until I saw him on that uh, Jerry Seinfeld comedians in cars drinking coffee, which begs the question, is Christoph Waltz a comedian? Can he say things funny sometimes? Haha. <laughs> yes. But does that make one a comedian? Mm. It's hard to say. But Jerry thought so. So who cares? Uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is our big closer. It's supposed to be a great performance. Uh, the crowd showed up, so that's good. <laughs> they won the first battle. And, yeah, I haven't gone... Do we have subtitles on this one? Um, we don't. Um, so in in Moonchild, we were talking about it a little bit, about <coughs> the lyrics and uh, interpreting the, the Korean yes. language. Versus uh, just getting English lyrics. What's how do I say this? We're gonna we're gonna feel this one. We'll revisit Microcosmos. Yes, we will go with the soul of the music. But these guys, their music can talk to you in other ways. Yeah, and newsflash, I don't think they're getting steady internet. Well, maybe they do get great internet in space these days. I mean, you're right up there with the satellites, right? So maybe they're just <laughs> up there, and they got a lot of downtime, and they're just researching. They're like, what does this song mean? It's a freaking jam. Got to look it up. Oh, it's something about, I don't know, the U.S.'s downfall. It's code, secret code going through that when you play the whole song in its, compl in its completion, it will... Uh, knock out all the electrical gear on the International Space Station and cause a downfall and a resurgence. Like, kind of like. New Age of South Korea's dominance in the world. Kind of like uh, Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. That happened. A lot of people don't remember that. It was a full <laughs> North American blackout. Gotta be careful with these. Rhythm Nation! I don't remember how that one goes. <laughs> but she's a talent, as are these guys. So let's get into it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, like you said, we're gonna feel this one out. We're gonna come back. I'd like to see. Uh, I like to see music videos for everything, because it gives me more to look at and talk about. But their live performances are epic, so I'm sure this won't disappoint. There's already a bomb going off on the front of the screen. Some sort of big puff of smoke. Let's check it out. BTS. Microcosmos Spectacular! Mm, 저의 
Yeah, we do get it. Last wave. Let's go. We love you. Ooh. That's a lot of lights. I hope they show some crowd work because there's probably going to be some cool stuff going on out there. I just gotta say, why the hell are they translating just their talking, and but they won't do it for any of the rest of the song? That makes... What the hell? They want us to feel it, though. And I am feeling it. It's a lovely song. Yeah, right you now, thought you thought we were going to get the, the full translation of the song? Yeah, once they put up that little teaser, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe you just didn't look at it and you didn't see it. Anyway, let's go.
that dropping from? Is it an open stadium? Maybe it's not. And you and I became weak. Well, that is beautiful. Our resurgence. So is this like their comeback tour? No. So I believe this tour um, started in 2018 in August. And it ended in like October 2019. They were on tour for over a year. That's a long time. Yeah. But they just said this in this in 2000. Oh, so this little clip was released. <laughs> this little clip was released. Right. In in 21. Okay. But this, yeah, but I the believe. the tour is from early. Yeah. But it says the 2021 BTS Festa. Yeah, so the Festa, I believe, is um, it's like an annual celebration that they have every year anyway, yeah, um, for BTS and ARMY. So they celebrate the anniversary. But it's not an actual festival or anything. I don't know um, exactly what it is. I just know it's like a a celebration type of thing, and they do all kinds of yeah. stuff. Let us know, ARMY what you know about the festa because it like unless it's just a tv event it doesn't really make sense to me why they would show an older form to just have the live performance right is it i guess we need to know more we must know more but i like that song a lot it's very uh i'd say uplifting it gives a sense of renewal to me yeah. I know the lyrics talk about um seven seven billion different stars, seven billion different worlds. So I think they're talking about everyone in the world. Yeah. And each person represents a star. It's still only and a drop in the bucket of stars. Let's see if we can get to ten billion together. Let's all start going at it. <laughs> I think we'll get there. We can hold it. We got space over here. Come visit. That's cool, though. And every person has their own, is their own their self own, with their own universe. Their own world, yeah. Different people revolving around them, them revolving around others, I suppose. It's chaos, I guess is what we're saying. Lovely song. Where, as I have asked on the previous two, where does this fall if you're a NASA astronaut or any astronaut out in space, where, when do you want to throw this jam on? Probably when I'm coming back or crashing in a fiery blaze. Could be. Do you think it's a re-entry into the atmosphere thing? It gave me a sense of wanting, like, uh, almost nostalgia, almost like when you want to reach out to the ones you left behind the house. But that didn't really... You're probably not going to put on music while you're co trying to communicate with people back home. You might. But that's what I was thinking. Or maybe getting up to do work. It feels like it's uh, starting. It's a, a beginning. Or maybe a turnaround start. So maybe it's the return. Like you said. But it is. It's a, it feels uplifting to me. Oh, Though yeah. I know not oh, what yeah. it means. It was good, though. Good show. Pretty basic uh, set with the, just them on uh, the stage, enjoying it, uh, grooving with the fans. Not a lot of, sometimes they have a lot of, you know, stuff going on in the background and screens and stuff. The tech mm -hmm. and the planets and space and all sorts of those things. Right. This one was more, felt intimate with the fans. For sure. Which was good. I didn't see that much changing of the colors of the lights. They mostly kept them as stars. There was a little bit of uh, purple, I think, in there. Oh, yeah. But less than I was expecting when you have that massive stadium. And those lights in the sky, I believe, are drones. Like, look, how, look how many people are in that stadium right now. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's drones in the sky? That's cool. That's yeah. why they tell them to look up. 
Right, right. Because it's, what's his name? Mysterio put a good show together for the BTS thing. Did you see that, that Spider-Man movie? <laughs> no. It's Mysterio. Jake Gyllenhaal is like master of the drones and illusion. He oh. uses like an army of sky drones to create these That's elaborate right. I did, shows. I did see that. He's a bad guy. And he, well, I don't want to give it away. He's a bad guy. It's, you know, all things aren't black and white. He has his reasons. He was he was uh, thrown down by Tony Stark. The point being, it's a good song. And if they want to hire Mysterio for their songs, if anyone can keep him in check, it's BTS. I don't think they've wronged anyone in their career. They're all about peace, love, harmony, togetherness, support. So I think Jake Gyllenhaal could get behind that. I don't think he's going to try and pull something crafty and create some fire monster coming in and terrorizing the concert. Obviously didn't happen. So, he's on his best behavior. But good gravy. They do some good work. They have some monster shows. <coughs> I would like to see the music video. But I like, I do like the song a lot. It feels like montage a little bit to me. And that but I don't know. We'll have to listen to it a couple yeah, dozen more times. It's not like a super complex kind of song. Yeah. Well, they do all sort of chime in a lot in the different things. You have a lot of like the high sections and then mm-hmm. the talking sections. Yep. The one, two, three, four. The crowd obviously is big fans of this one because they were singing yeah. all the lyrics for the start of it. Right. right. The first verse. I believe it's. Um some kind of fan song. I wonder, Army, what, how do you guys classify songs that are f- su- supposedly for the fans? Like, do they, I wonder if they label it a, a certain way or whatever, you know? From my experience, they label every song as for the fans. Well, yeah, I mean, in a in a sense, like, every song is for fans, but, like, specifically, like, the lyrics right or you know they're singing about the fans and stuff so i just i'm just curious um is it because they said so or did you attribute where they catalog things you know it's good stuff and how many out of the massive what is it 500 song yeah 500 repertoire 500 plus are fan songs hard to say they're a good one anyway i liked it I don't care what Koo says. I don't care what they say about Pluto. I'm supporting this band. And I'm supporting Pluto. And I support Moon Children. You can get out of it. These were all great songs. Able to be an excellent companion to the spacemen as they go up on their journey to the moon for no particular reason except that they can't. And because we haven't been there in a while. Are they planning on accomplishing anything over there? Maybe get, we need <laughs> some more moon rocks. You're asking me? A more dust. This was supposed to be your space spectacular. Year. It was, but... And it is. And I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't get it. I mean... I feel like it's just because we can. Are we really going to get something? Just don't destroy the moon. I know that would be bad. <laughs> Apparently it controls the tides, and without it... It would be absolute chaos down here. So I'm a big fan of the moon, just as I am of Pluto. Uh, And I say, let's keep it. Right? Can we get behind that? Sure. All right. Support the moon. Support trips to the moon. Do not blow up the moon. Do not use the moon to build things to blow up us. And then I think we can all be happy. Dark side of the moon, light side of the moon, it's all good to me. Just as long... We're getting out there, exploring, learning new things, expanding uh, our horizons and our experiences. Whether it be a trip to space or a trip down the spectacular BTS Super Special. 11 years, boys. Congratulations. You made it. Congratulations on Jenna getting out. I hope everyone else gets out soon. No one gets overly patriotic and decides to re-enlist and give up on the career. Let's keep this band together for another 11. They got it. I want to see them doing dance moves when they're, 
you know, crotchety old man. They'll yeah, come out like as the lead in on a cane. By and that, they'll go like, Pew! flip the cane. By that time, we might actually understand them in the in the That's fullest. True. Just give us 11 more years to get you fully. To learn the language, dive deep. And I think I think we'll be ready for you then. <laughs> 22 yeah. years in. We'll be caught up and we'll be covering the news. So it'll all be great. But it, yeah, it's fun. I like the band. I like the show. I like the moon. So I guess if there's nothing else cool, we will let you all go for this one, but we will be back with more BTS, more RMs, more Jimins, more J-Hopes, and all the gangs, the RMs. Who am I leaving out? You know who you are. You've heard us call Lee, out to you. Sugar. Yes, who could forget Sugar? They all have wonderful songs of their own that mm -hmm. they bring out and share with us, even in these dark times of being yeah. in the army. Yeah, I'm excited to get back to... Uh more of their solo works after yeah. this oh yes there will be plenty of that so if you like this and you want to see more other covers one we got plenty check out the bts playlist but we will be covering much more live performances tv shows music videos join us on k-pop unlock for two average white people checking out k-pop on this magical journey through x through BTS, K-pop, X-pop, all the pops, just loving, loving life, loving this music. So thanks for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what to watch next and what I missed from the lyrics of this. How off was Ku's assessment of my assessment? He was probably pretty, probably nailed it on the head. And where would you put it? On your space journey to the moon and back. Do you think this is a takeoff song? None of them none of them struck me as a takeoff song. They were all in space yeah. or coming back. That's right. Maybe maybe the landing coming back. But they probably have on the playlist they probably have plenty of takeoff songs. That's true. Rocket Man. These are They're ones going Elton John, R M, BTS. These ones are to keep the the astronauts in the right in their right mind. I like it. Makes sense. Can't do too much Pink Floyd. It will it will get you out there. You'll lose your mission. You'll decide what if we detoured out here? Is that <laughs> is that on the playlist? Did you see or Dark Side of the Moon has to be on the playlist. Okay. It's an it's a space playlist. I mean, I don't know. I saw a couple of them, but I don't remember. But anyway. Love it. We'll be back with more. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, blah, blah, blah. We treasured you, and we treasured the journey. And we'll be back for more. Coo, ass, K-pop, unlock, BTS spectacular, space, spectacular. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.